What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. My apologies on uh, not getting back to you a little sooner here when it comes to uh, some voice video. Um, kind of just been really busy with work and whatnot. Here we have the Terex 4M, the Defender, my Defender. Um, kind of just propped up here for some scale, but today I actually wanted to update you guys on my rock crawling course. I haven't really done much of a video on the course, so I figured, hey, why not? Um, so actually, I'm going to start over here. Uh, I originally started the course over this direction, had all of, uh, all of this stuff on here. Um, yeah, kind of, I'm going to do more of a, like an actual scale video of like all the lines and stuff later, but I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of a, a heads up on, on what's become new here. So I really started out with just this stuff right here. It, it mainly was just like all right here. A lot of this stuff was already here as rocks. Um, I've been randomly grabbing a bunch of rocks and all this stuff and kind of just slowly adding more as I go uh, Trying to figure out, you know, I've like this has changed a hundred times uh, This has kind of been the same though mostly added this little this little climb here uh, Here, let's grab Let's grab the RC for some scale. Yeah so <laughs> Before I got the the 62 inch tires or 60 inches wow that's a big ass tire now before i got the uh the, the 62 millimeters uh these guys from enjora um it was quite a bit of a challenge for this little side here um now with with those tires this thing it rolls over it like pretty much almost no problem now but pretty much had coming around here um this became new you can actually get up that um allow yourself to get on that way um pretty much i'm going all throughout this way mostly this used to be an entrance i said fuck all that because i put that here um very very sharp corner when you're coming around here you almost have to do like a backup thing um this this hole tends to be pretty um pretty scary <laughs> uh with the added weight at the bottom especially it really wants to wants to dip into the hole there so i kind of have to do a a little bit of like a minuscule anyway so yeah so i kind of wanted to just give you guys an update on what's going on with the course here it's it really has been a while i haven't really done much of of an update for this so but yeah i mean i got a few lines going on over here um main just the main area here of flatness and quick easy rollovers or rolling over <laughs> um have kind of like a little way through here a whole bunch of little random things to do We're originally going from that side you kind of come over around here head on over here um this has changed quite a bit um really had a whole different thing here i had keep i kept these four were here pretty much the whole time um kind of bring it around here drop it down come on back around i kind of extended this out not too long ago um after i ended up doing most of this i had slowly been adding more around this tree uh, originally it's kind of like a way this way you can get up go around this way you can go that there um these little guys don't really work as well anymore um but yeah and then just kind of a clearer path to be able to get on out of the way and pretty much always have walking room just in case that uh I, I, I want to get closer or if I need to get up and grab grab the uh, the truck so kind of like solid rocks at the bottom But yeah, pretty a lot of pretty good little uh, climbs here. So let's grab this bad boy. Let's move on over to the Newer side of the course. But yeah, there's there's that So newer side of the course is over here a little bit more next to the front of the house It is also the front obviously but Camaro by the way um and yeah, so I kind of just slowly started, um, this was kind of here at first, and then and I was like, okay, I need some kind of like log wheel, you know, up wheel ride type thing. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> this gets pretty, actually pretty crazy. It likes to slide here if you're not up here enough, and 
it's, it's a pretty good little little crawl there uh it took me a while to figure out a good spot for this because it was um i had to put in these rocks eventually and i had to re move these things around or this guy around it was it just did not allow you to get being from literally like wheelbase back here you know and then right here it was really bogging up trying to get up here so now it does it does a lot better um when, once you get up to here it can be a little bit of a challenge but hook this side over and it's no problem um this was one of the the bigger hills that i actually featured in one of the videos um uh, i will have that probably in the description somewhere if not then i will have it at the end of this video for which video this was um yeah kind of a crawl over section through the plants i know i'm really sorry these guys were not really even meant to be here so <laughs> um did a down section here you can kind of bring it up over around this way this does get pretty sketch but it is quite doable um even with the mostly stock uh trx it 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 does pretty well right here um once i started putting the upgrades on it just it just started dominating this part of the course <laughs> i know i don't have it turned on right now i'm actually waiting for my battery so um but i guess i'll do a, a couple little crawl lines in here just to you know namesake anyway uh yeah so kind of um an upper side here have an up here up through here um that way this way this way is almost impossible to get up um, that rear left wheel tends to have a bit of a struggle there. I uh, I kind of, I really need to re-go over this ditch because I had set it in quite a bit. Now I need to like redo it and yeah, this, this little ditch was actually, it's a pretty fun little thing to do. Um, be surprised on how much these, these rocks will actually really, really get you hung up in here. Um, especially when it gets really muddy and, and wet, it's actually kind of a fun little spot. I do have to get some of the the extra rock and extra dirt like this out of here i don't know why that keeps coming through um but yeah after after the ditch then we have a good little hairpin turn it's a bit difficult a little heart-shaped rock you know um up and around you have up and up that way you can kind of take up through this way oh and kind of take up through this way it it does pretty good that way uh getting up this way was an original run um that was one of the first besides over here and this spot has changed a whole hell of a lot too uh but yeah i mean this is kind of the course so far uh i may do a few more changes here and there but i don't think i'm gonna do too much more um i might make some higher climbs if anything i might make maybe some detail and stuff like that but since it's up against a house anyway I'm, I'm really not too worried about it but yeah i mean let me know if you guys would like me to just do a normal video like this and and kind of just chillaxing and playing around uh show you how the trx 4m does on the course little guy right there man looks good from here look at you but yeah so just let me know um if you guys would like me to go ahead and just do a video up on here and uh i would love to show you guys kind of some of the fun little lines i can do on these and and the difference of the trx 4m is is become quite a huge thing with all the new upgrades from the monothon episodes so we'll see what's going on from here